Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into at rest controller annotation. Well, in order to develop the RESTful web services using Spring MUC, we need to use at controller and at response body annotations. Well, if you look at the code snippet over here, in order to develop the RESTful web services using Spring MUC, we have to use at controller annotation and at response body annotations. Well, whenever we annotate a class with the at controller annotation, then this class becomes a Spring MUC controller and it is capable to handle the incoming HTTP request. Next, whenever we annotate a method with at response body annotation, then this at response body annotation tells Spring MUC controller to automatically convert the Java object into JSON and you know return that JSON object back to the client. All right, and this at response body annotation internally uses HTTP message converters to convert the Java object into JSON and return that JSON to the client. So this is how the response body annotation works. Spring 4.2 introduced a new annotation that is at rest controller annotation and it is a combination of at controller and at response body annotations. Well, in order to develop the RESTful web services using Spring MUC, you need to annotate a Java class with at rest controller annotation. So let us go ahead and let us see the usage of at rest controller with an example. So let's go to our project in IntelliJ IDEA and here we are using at controller and at response body annotation, isn't it? So here we can also refactor this code like instead of annotating all the methods with at response body annotation, we can use at response body annotation at a class level. For example, here we have annotated this hello world method with at response body annotation. So let me comment out this and here to get method also we have annotated at response body annotation, right? So instead of annotating all the methods with at response body annotation in this book controller class, we can use this at response body annotation at a class level. For example, here let's annotate this book controller class with at response body annotation. Okay. Next, Spring 4.0 introduced a new annotation that is at rest controller annotation, and it is basically a combination of at controller and at response body annotation. For example, instead of using these two annotations, we can use a shortcut annotation that is at rest controller annotation. Okay, so at rest controller annotation is nothing but combination of at controller and at response body annotation. For example, if we dive inside this at rest controller source code, and here you can see rest controller is alias for at controller annotation, and this rest controller annotation is also you know annotated with at response body annotation. It means at rest control annotation is a combination of both at controller and at response body annotations. Okay, just remember instead of using these two annotations, we can use at rest control annotation like this. Okay, next let us go and let us rerun on our Spring Boot application and let us quickly test the REST APIs. Well, our Spring Boot application is up and running in an embedded Tomcat server on port 8000. Next, let's go to browser and here just you know, call this get book REST API and there we go. This REST API return the response that is book object in a JSON format. Next, let us also test the hello world REST API. So here just type the URL localhost 800 slash hello world and hit enter. There we go. The hello world REST API is also working as expected. It means whenever you want to develop the RESTful web services using Spring MUC, then we can annotate the class with at rest controller annotation. Okay, so this is a very important point. Whenever you want to develop the RESTful web services using Spring MUC, then you can go ahead and annotate a class with at rest controller annotation. But if you want to develop the Spring MUC web application, then you have to use at controller annotation. Okay, so this at rest controller annotation won't work for Spring MUC web applications. If you want to develop only the RESTful web services, then only you can use this at rest controller annotation. All right, just try to understand the difference between at rest controller annotation and at controller annotation. Whenever you want to develop the RESTful web services using Spring MUC, then you can go ahead and use at rest controller annotation. And whenever you want to develop the Spring MUC applications that returns the view, then you can go ahead and use at controller annotation. Okay, perfect. In next lecture, we'll take a look into at request mapping annotation. All right, great. I will see you in the next lecture.